Kerry grabbed me and he said to me, son, scrap that whole advertising campaign. He said, the only things that people are interested in is what is your product? How much is it? And how do you get it? In other words, how do you contact me? Obviously, a lot of people in this industry, property sector, are self-employed, um, runners of their own business and whatever. And, and that's an area that you lo- like to get involved in. So what would you advice would you be giving a business owner right now who's finding this whole you know, um, challenge, something they would never have expected, and they're really managing a very different business? Well, you've got to get your head around digitization. <laughs> I, I chaired the federal government's digitization task force in 2019, and who would have known that right now digitization as an Australian phenomenon, which we are lacking in digitization for businesses relative to other developed nations. We're very good on mobile phones. Mm. We're not very good on digitization when it comes to business. My feeling right now is we've now been forced into this digitization era, just like you and I are now talking. Normally I'd come into your studio and I'd be sitting right opposite you and we'd be having a mag. Yeah. I've had to force myself to make sure I've got myself a stand, I've got myself a backdrop, I've made sure my phone's working properly, I've ordered a new phone because it has better technology. So everybody has to start doing this. I don't care what your business is. I don't care if you're a butcher. I don't care. You've got to start telling people what your product is. You're the butcher, local butcher. Make sure you start to go to Facebook or Instagram or and or whoever, Google, and find out, target who the people are in your area. Build yourself a website. Make sure you get onto the social media and show them what it is that you've got to offer. And then say to them, if you buy from me, I'll deliver to you. Mm. I mean, that's the sort of stuff. We need to have innovation, lots more innovation. But it all starts with this environment, our social mediums, our digitization mediums. Start to tell people what your product and or your service is, then tell them how easy it is to get it. You know what, Pete, many, many years ago, I did, when I was in partnership with Kerry Pack, we had a business called Wizard together. And uh, I went and saw this really fancy advertising agency and um, they built this really fancy advertising, um, you know, scheme for us. And we put it out on television, it cost me a fortune to produce. And it was a bit, a bit weird and it was a bit funky, et cetera. Kerry grabbed me and he said to me, son, scrap that whole advertising campaign. He said, the only things that people are interested in is what is your product? How much is it and how do you get it? In other words, how do you contact me? Well, if you take that same advice today, Mm. what is my product? I've got fantastic mediums to tell everybody what my product is today. One. Two, how much is it? So what's your menu? What's it cost me? Is it a kilo of rump steak? Blah. It's going to be six bucks, 12 bucks, 20 bucks a kilo. Why is it that price? Because it's organic or it's whatever. Grass fed. And finally, how do I get it? Email me, ring me, Instagram me, Shopify me, and or I will deliver it. They're pretty, mm. three pretty simple questions you've got to ask yourself. That's what I would be saying to all businesses. I don't care whether you're a plumber, a butcher, I couldn't give a stuff what you are. Yeah, and in many ways, what you're saying is this threat gives you the opportunity to think about innovation. And uh, I, I must admit, I was interviewing Marty Grunstein. I don't know if you've ever met Martin before, but he's a very good customer sales guy. And he said he... His uh, wife went into a fruit shop in Pennington many years ago and uh, he, 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 she, was, she was talking to the, the guy who owned the shop and he said, um, well, you know, um, um, uh, you know, she said, do you do home delivery? And he said, yes, I do. And uh, she said, well, when do you do it? She said, he said, when you want me to. And because uh, she was used to coals and all that sort of stuff and delivering all hours on night. And, but she did look at him and she said, well, why don't you say that? on the front uh, window of your store. Correct. And, and people haven't thought about it. And the guy just looked at it sort of dumbfounded. It was so obvious that there was a great service. He wasn't even talking about it. It's because, you know, what, what happens is we get caught up in our day-to-day stuff and the grind, what we're doing, mm. and we make a whole lot of assumptions or presumptions about what our customers think. And really what we've got to do is step outside our shop, go and walk outside your own life and step outside and have a look at what's going on yourself and work out what is it I would want to know if I was a customer of me. That's the bottom line.